Hey guys, Frank here, and I've got a build video for you today. I guess it's kind of a combination build video and sort of review video for something I came up with earlier this year. Uh, this is a fully 3D printable or nearly fully 3D printable uh, six inch scale version of the Cobra Trouble Bubble from the 1980s. Uh, a real American hero toy line. It's uh, heavily based upon the uh, design for that original uh, vintage toy, but again, just scaled up for uh, the uh, current modern uh, six inch G.I. Joe classified series figures. And I'll just kind of take a little spin around and show you this vehicle and show you some of the features. And later on in this video, we're going to go through the uh, assembly and construction and finishing of another copy of it. This is actually the very first one that I built. I've built one other one, and uh, I'm going to build my third one uh, today. As you can see, it has an opening canopy. The canopy itself, the bubble itself, is the only part that's not 3D printed. This is actually vacuum formed. I'm going to go through that process uh, uh, in the video as part of the... Uh, uh, um, the build sequence that I'm going to show in the video. Not too difficult to make. Uh, there are some simpler ways to do it than what I did, but we'll go through all that stuff and I'll give you guys some ideas. Um, it is also possible, instead of vacuum forming it, you can 3D print it um, using you know clear resin. It's not going to be transparent or as transparent as this one. Another option might be if you have a resin printer, it might be able to do a better job of getting you closer to this than just a standard filament type of 3D printer as far as clarity and, and, uh, and clearness goes. But uh, anyway, we'll cover all that stuff in the build section. Uh, again, canopy is on a little hinge in the back here. It flips open and closed. Um, the uh, control stand is what I call it. I don't know what the proper name for it is, but the control stand rotates left and right. You could, if you don't like that feature, you could uh, glue this joint down in here so that it just stays straight up and down. Uh, and the cannon on the front rotates to the left and right. It doesn't tilt forward and backward, but it does rotate left and right to give you some more options. Plus, you know, with this uh, tilting control stand, you know, when the guy is banking through the air in battle, you know, he can kind of steer it over that direction a little bit or what have you to kind of lean into the curve a little bit if you want to, if you want to do that type of thing. It's a display option if you want to, uh, if you want to go that route, it's available. Or like I said, you know, you can just, uh, uh, you can just glue that joint and uh, and lock it in whatever position you'd like to lock it into, which I assume would be straight up and down like it is now. Anyway, I'm going to get this uh, Cobra Island Trooper sitting in the pilot seat here. I think he actually fits it pretty well. Get his hands pushed onto the handlebars. Get his elbows straightened out a little bit. Now I'll get him rotated back, sitting in the seat kind of comfortable. And let's get him kind of uh, looking forward at all. All right, front and center there. Get the cannon rotated like that and boom. Now the, uh, the stickers that you see on this, these were um, produced using a uh, cricket machine my wife has. So. I have to thank her for that. I think they turned out pretty well. Let's take a look at some of the uh, uh, deco, some of the kind of design differences from the original. I mean, like I said, this is very based very heavily, obviously, on the original toy. I added some little things, like some of the proportions are a little bit different. The shape of the bubble is different. It's a little more stretched out toward the front. Uh, I added some little like ventilation or vents uh, to the uh, control stand. Uh, some bolts hardware to the front of the controls there some little details to the uh, to the top of the controls there uh, I added little details on the side some type of little control panel it has uh, missiles similar to what's on the original toy uh, I added some auxiliary weapons some uh, guns firearms cannons whatever they might be uh, to the sides here, just for some extra detail. Um, 
vents along the side here, some additional app buttons, whatever you might even want to call those. Um, and then some details to the uh, jet pack or rocket pack on the back here that are actually pulled almost directly from the original toy. I wanted it to be very much reminiscent of the original toy. I'm guessing, I'm hoping at some point Hasbro does a, uh, uh, a trouble bubble in the six inch classified uh, line. I'm hoping that happens at some point. My guess is if they do, it's probably going to be kind of stylized. Um, I think maybe if they go like the coil cycle route, I it's going to be pretty stylized. If they go the ram cycle route, then there's good chance it's going to be very much like the original toy. Uh, I'm actually really curious to see how they might handle it if they actually do produce one. And one would think that if they're going to produce a trouble bubble and a classified line um, or or many additional vehicles you would think that a trouble bubble would be kind of a lock I mean it's such an iconic vehicle I'm doing this just to show you some of the uh, whoops some of the uh, control uh, and instrument cluster detail that I put in there a little uh, uh, eh, kind of creamed pea soup LC uh, colored uh, LCD display in there, some buttons, and these big white open dials. Now what I'd like to do is make up some little decals or maybe even do some hand painting uh, in these white sections like some, uh, you know, airspeed or altitude or something along those lines. Do it, put something in there to give it a little bit more, uh, a little more detail, a little more, a little more flair I think would look kind of neat. Um, I will give that a shot at some point. Take a little bit of time, maybe one of these days, and uh, put together maybe maybe even do like a sticker pack for it. Something where you can, you know, you can print one of these things and then also print out on some adhesive sticker paper um, your own sets of uh, decals or stickers to sticker this thing up for yourself, just to kind of add those those final touches. Because I mean, you know, it's it's neat once you paint the thing up and once you finish that uh, that part of the deco. But to really make it pop and come alive, you know, it needs some of those extra little details added on there. So I hope to do that at, uh, at some point. So uh, with that, I think we will, uh, I think we'll move into the, uh, into the build segment of this video.